A. Enter at the working walk. Proceed down center line to C without halting. C. Track to the right. B, circle right, 15 meters. B to V, working walk. V, Leg yield right to center line, arriving at center line after X. Proceed down center line to C. C, track to the left. At E, circle left 15 meters. E to P, working walk. P Leg yield left to center line, arriving on center line after X. Proceed down center line to C. C track to the right. MXK lengthen stride in the walk, allowing the horse to stretch forward and downward. K through A, working walk.
between A and F develop working trot. F to M lengthen stride in the trot. M to H, working trot. H to V, shoulder four. A, Circle left 20 meters twice, allowing the horse to stretch forward and downward on the first circle, then developing the working trot on the second. FXH, change rein and lengthen the stride. At H, working trot, continue to M. M to P, shoulder four. A, circle right 20 meters twice, allowing the horse to stretch forward and downward on the first circle, then developing the working trot on the second. Between A and K, working walk. K to X, working walk along diagonal. X down the center line. Between I and G, halt, salute. Dismount, stand quietly for a moment. You may reward your horse. Take the reins over the horse's head and leave the arena, leading the horse at the shoulder. I want to thank Barb for being a great sport and helping us out here by riding this for us with very little preparation, but it will give us an opportunity to talk about the issues that would be involved with scoring. So we're going to take this test through again. This time we'll score it and talk about what's right and what's wrong. Beautiful exit Barb is making here. Just how it should be. Notice that her reins are in both hands. A, enter at the working walk, proceed down center line to C without halting.
fairly straight. C track to the right. Center line. Mostly a good rhythm. Five. Horse loses engagement on the turn. B, circle right, 15 meters. And a little unsteady in the rhythm. Three. Better working walk now. Good shape to the circle. B to V, working walk. Loses a little rhythm and impulsion here. Four. Angled off the rail here and not straight. Loss of rhythm and impulsion. V, leg you Three. right to center line. Arriving at center line after X. Little loss of the shoulder and rhythm. Proceed Four. down center line to C. C track to the left. Not straight on center line. Loss of rhythm in the turn. At E, circle left 15 meters. Three. Some loss of engagement, but regains it. Again, inconsistent e in P, the frame. Working walk. But good size to the circle. Four. Loses rhythm and not straight in the track. Three. P, leg yield left to center line, arriving on center line after X. Losing engagement here. Some loss of engagement. Proceed down center line to C. Three. C track to the right. Loses engagement on the turn. MXK length and stride in the Three. walk, allowing the horse to stretch forward and downward. Not enough reach coming through from behind in the stretch and a little loss of rhythm. Four. K through A, working walk. Better engagement. Between Four. A and F, develop working trot. F to M, lengthen stride in the trot. Good transition. Five. 
M to H, working trot. Not enough length. H to V, shoulder four. Four. Not enough angle. Three. A, circle left 20 meters twice, allowing the horse to stretch forward and downward on the first circle, then developing the working trot on the second. Good beginning to the stretch. Loses a little bit of rhythm. Come back into a better working trot, though loses rhythm. FXH, change rein and lengthen the stride. Five. At H, working trot, continue to M. Better lengthening this time though some loss of engagement. Five. M to P, shoulder four. Not enough angle in the shoulder four, falls back to the rail. Two. A, circle right 20 meters twice, allowing the horse to stretch forward and downward on the first circle, then developing the working trot on the second. Better beginning to the stretch this time with a better swing. Between A and K, working walk. Pretty good development back into that working walk. Five. Good downwards transition. K to A. X, working walk along diagonal. Six. X down the center line. Little loss of rhythm on the diagonal. Four. Between I and G. Halt, salute. Salute. Dismount, stand line. quietly for a moment. You may reward your horse. Take the reins over the horse's head Three. and leave the arena leading the horse at the shoulder. Dar Barb does an exemplary job here in leaving the arena. Other than her horse being a little crooked there. Again, thank you, Barb, for being one of our test riders. Now, let's consider the collective marks for this horse. Horse's correct level of physical development for the level entered. We have a score of 1 to 10 possible. I'm going to give this horse a 6, meaning that she's more than just sufficiently 
ready for this level, but it's hard to tell sometimes because she does lose the frame here and there. But of course, could that can be the rider or that can be the horse, but I think we would have to give her the benefit of the doubt here. She looks quite muscled correctly for this level of work were the muscles kept consistently. Now, once again, if it was all consistent, this would be a much higher mark, but I'm going to give her a six here for the correct level of development. Harmony between horse and rider, of course, is somewhat affected by that level of the horse's physical development. The better the horse is physically developed, the easier it's going to be for the rider to maintain harmony between horse and rider, because the job that we're asking the horse will do to do will be easier. Uh, but of course, that has to do with the, horse, the rider's level of physical condition and education as well. So between ho harmony between horse and rider here, I'm going to call this a five, meaning it was good enough to get through the test, but has a lot of improvement uh, that's still possible there. Rider's correct level of physical development for the level entered, this would include the rider's seat and correct use of aids. So Barb looks quite fit. Um, she's able to hold herself in the correct position on the back of the horse, but obviously her aids at times are not as uh, quick as they could be or as effective as they be as they could be as we can see her losing engagement from time to time throughout the test. Um, now, of course, Barb rode these tests with very little warm up, if any, and we want to thank her for doing that. But I want to point these out. We have to look at these tests as if I know nothing about these horses or what they've done before or what she has, uh, what she's capable to do on a different day. That was what we have to get back into dressage scoring is that idea that every test must be looked at with a fresh eye every day, no matter how much they won the day before. And unfortunately, that began to not be the case with competitive dressage. People sort of came in knowing who they wanted to win, so to speak, or the officials, so to speak. And uh, I think that led to a lot of confusion in the world of dressage. So it's up to every dressage judge to try to view every class as if you have never seen the horse before in your life or know nothing about it. Uh, the last of the collective marks is, of course, artistic in, in, uh, impression. And that's the mark for the overall performance views as, as an artistic performance. And of course, once again, what really lends itself to calling itself an artistic performance is those performances that seem seamless. That is, the horse isn't constantly changing the frame, the rider isn't losing contact. Um, in other words, when the rider's uh, aids have become imperceptible to the viewer, that's when you can talk about getting a very high level of artistic impression. So for this horse at this level right now, we saw quite a bit of disparity between the two, the horse losing quite a bit of frame often, which is always just distracting. I mean, just like if you saw a great painting or a great ballet and, you know, let's say, and some of the dancers are not in sync with the others, it's immediately distracting. And that's what um, Les Dressage give us that wonderful sort of solemn procession, if you will, that Nuno Oliveira talked about. Uh, when, when horses are really relaxed and really rhythmic and really working over the backs, we're very much drawn into the per performance like we're watching something very beautiful as opposed to something that's just erratic and flashy, so to speak. So I'm going to give that our artistic impression a level of a three. So it's not really, at the, you know, even at what I would call the just to get to the point where we could call it a five in terms of artistic impression, we pretty much have to not see much going on between horse and rider, horse not losing the frame very much, not disengaging throughout the test. But once again, thank you, Barb, for being a great sport and helping us out here. Um, this will all help everyone else learn in the process. So I'm just going to let this test uh, run on out here for the rest of it. I hope everyone is having a good time and is enjoying these tests as much as we are um, having the fun of putting them all together. So I look to see, uh, look forward to seeing many of you ride these tests in the near future. This is Will Faber from Art to Ride.